What is SWOT analysis? This technique helps organizations, small businesses, and companies handle daily challenges differently for business prosperity. SWOT analysis also allows businesses to identify new and better markets. SWOT analysis helps assess an organization's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a significant tool, especially in marketing management and acquiring the necessary information for decision making. SWOT tool has several elements, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. These elements are classified as internal and external environmental factors of a business. Components of SWOT analysis The SWOT analysis elements may vary depending on the company. However, there are main components that this tool must have, and they include 1. Strengths, positive internal factors. These features and activities make an organization excel and differentiate it from its competitors. What makes an entity stand out includes loyal clients, better technology, and a strong brand. There may also be tangible assets and internal resources like capital, intellectual property, and skilled staff. 2. Weaknesses, internal negative factors, weaknesses act as a hindrance to a business's optimum performance. So, an entity should focus on the area that makes it fail. For example, less capital, high debt levels, and poor location. 3. Opportunities, external positive factors, opportunities are the external factors that make your business prosper. Examples are less competition in your niche, media coverage of your company, and favorable tariffs. 4. Threats, the external negative factors, the threats are the factors that lead to your business's downfall. For instance, the drought may threaten you in acquiring raw materials if you are dealing with a food production company. Others include the high cost of materials, the high competition, and negative media coverage. What are the types of SWOT analysis? There are two major types of SWOT. One, personal SWOT analysis. It's an individual evaluation of one's strengths and weaknesses. You can do a personal SWOT analysis before a job interview or during a job self-evaluation. During the assessment, you should reflect on your achievements and failures. However, this evaluation should be structured to differentiate it from other personal meditations. This document will help you work on your weaknesses and perform better. You can identify your strengths and improve on your weaknesses to rise higher. Learn how to write a personal analysis through our analytical essay writing help. This essay assesses opportunities and threats. It also points out your strengths and weaknesses just like a SWOT analysis tool. An example of a personal SWOT analysis includes strengths, holds bachelor's in clinical psychology, certificate in communication, social person, 10 plus years of experience like learning, proficient in oral and written communication, can speak several languages, weaknesses, carrying clients' burdens as if they are yours and Affecting your performance, being less active on social media, lack of social media presence for the business, opportunities. More mental health awareness in the society, different platforms for supporting virtual counseling services, expand counseling services to reach the global audience, develop an official website, YouTube channel, and Instagram to reach out to potential clients, threats, people trust social media and end up getting the wrong solutions, lack of confidence to approach a counselor, failure to accept their mental health diagnosis. Just like any other health condition, well-established consultants. Offering virtual services. 2. Business SWOT analysis. Business SWOT evaluation focuses on the products and services of a company. The business analysis has the same components as the personal one but is carried out differently. So, how do you identify a business's positive and negative elements? As a management team, you should place your business's internal and external factors in the following ways. Internal factors. These factors include the resources and experiences that a company goes through. As earlier stated, the internal factors comprise the strengths and weaknesses, which include the human resources are the people who work directly or indirectly with the company. They include staff, management, and the target population. Physical resources, they include location, building, land equipment, financial, they may be grants or other sources of income, activities and processes, systems employed, programs, past experiences, like the reputation in the community, external factors, they are positive, opportunities, and negative, threats. Opportunities are essential factors likely to propel your business, while threats are elements beyond your control that put an entity at risk. 
However, the threats may be a benefit if you can foresee them and have contingency plans in place, opportunities, positive perception of the company, a gap in the market, positive changes in the market slash market growth threats. Potential competitors, unfavorable trends in the market, government regulations, a shift in consumer behavior, new technology for making products, the example of business SWOT analysis, strengths, we have more knowledge of epidemic management, ICU, and HDU care. Again, our medical professionals are very skilled in maternal and primary health care, we have a loyal clientele, we have been in the area for years, and thus, we keep our clients' weaknesses, our competitors have modern diagnostic machines, but some of their services have low rates, opportunities. We target the aged for physiotherapy services, which most competitors don't offer, we got a new supplier of digital machines at friendly rates, thus we will lower our prices to attract more clients' threats, sometimes our clients think we are expensive yet we have to cater for hired machines that we are using currently hence the high fee, there is a new home for the aged center that opened in the neighborhood, and it offers free therapy sessions once a month for a detailed and real business. SWOT analysis, check out the Our Tesla SWOT analysis article. How do you carry out a SWOT analysis of a company? A SWOT analysis is about data, facts, and reality. For this report to be effective, it should be very genuine and positively impact the business. Even if the threats are more, an organization should plan how to handle the future scenario, therefore, they use all the resources available to gather facts about the business, for instance, browsing its website. Next, analyze the information and present it to the management. Below are steps that will help you examine all four components of a SWOT analysis. 1. Identify your objective. Before doing this analysis, have an objective that you want to achieve. You may have a broader intention, but it's better when you can pinpoint a specific one. Determining intent makes your analysis effective. To understand the business, you can answer the following questions. What is your business about? What are the products or services that you deal with? Why are you doing a SWOT analysis? Who are your loyal clients? How will you use this research to better your entity? 2. Choose a group leader. Identify a team member who can facilitate a group, project, or activity. It should be someone with excellent listening, writing, and organization skills. This leader will lead the team for better collaboration. 3. Collect information. Now that you know why you are conducting the analysis, it's a moment to start the research. Allocate duties to the members and let them collect the available data. Focus on market surveys and customer behavior studies. The team should cite the sources of information to avoid intellectual theft. Factors like customer preferences, purchasing trends, and demand patterns will shape the marketing strategy and help you identify opportunities and risks. 5. Draft a report. After gathering all the information about the product and market trends, you should prepare a report. The write-up should have an introduction, body, and conclusion. In the introduction, give details about the product and brand. Let your reader learn more about your business. In the body, list the weaknesses, strengths, opportunities, and threats. Under this section, you can use infographics and charts to present this data in an organized format. In conclusion, focus on the business strengths and opportunities. 6. Make a presentation to present these findings to the stakeholders for a discussion. Ensure you prepare well and cross-check your information for effective planning. Best tips for SWOT analysis process, encourage collaboration, let everyone write their ideas and then sample each as a group. You can break the group into larger or smaller units for people to share ideas, promote an honest and open conversation, create an atmosphere that allows candidness. For instance, people might write anonymous notes about the company's weaknesses, look at your competitors, to identify the external factors, you need to study your competitors. Check out the threats they are facing and how it applies to your business, be objective, when carrying out the exercise, it's best to keep off emotions. Statements should be backed up with facts, though they aren't valid. Create a clear definition of what is a strength as opposed to a weakness. Likewise, define an opportunity versus a threat and apply the definitions consistently, involve more than one person in the analysis. Different minds will gather more unique ideas. It's helpful to include external people in the organization who can think objectively.
common pitfalls to avoid during SWOT analysis, failing to involve critical stakeholders of the company may result in a shallow analysis, being over-optimistic or pessimistic about the SWOT metrics, strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. This analysis will result in bias and not based on facts, ignoring the potential threats or weaknesses. It's helpful to identify and address challenges to promote growth and development, mixing the internal and external factors. It's best to identify these factors as different and address them accordingly, forgetting that the SWOT analysis report represents the current situation. You can't use SWOT analysis information a year or months later because the facts are outdated. The business environment keeps changing.